Hello guys, welcome back to this WordPress course. In this video, we're going to be talking about what is content strategy. So basically, what I do for clients that I work for as I'm developing a site, either custom software development or using a CMS just like WordPress. When it gets to this stage, I would love to do some competitive research. What do I mean by that? I come over to Google and search the niche, in this case, rice milling websites. So on this first page, I saw two companies that are doing a great job with their blog page. Basically, this one, the first one, and this. So what I do is just I go to the blog page and look at how the channel their content. Okay, this here just has two, but this company here, their blog page, same loaded with content curated for rice milling niche. As you can see, those are rice milling machines. So first of all, what is content strategy? Developing a content strategy is essential to ensure your website is informative, engaging, and useful to your audience. Basically, what I do, I follow three steps in developing content strategy. I first focus on the benefits of the product or service. In this case, it's rice. In doing that, I just try and uh, research how Bryce has benefits to its audience or its users. And this, in this, in this sense, it's one of the popular grains in the world, and it's also a staple food in many cultures. And basically, this website we're building is going to focus on the benefits of rice in some of its content, as its nutritional value, versatility, and cultural significance. Then after that, I move on to the second phase, which is highlighting sustainable farming practices. Basically, I'm using farming practices because the client is a rice company. But what you're supposed to do in this second phase, you should just, you can pause the video and write all this down. You're supposed to highlight sustainable practices for the product or the service. All this, you're not going to do it and in one stretch. You're, you're going to do it uh, uh, periodically using your content uh, strategy or content creation calendar. That's a content planner. It helps you to spread out all this. You can be touching one topic on each category, let's say twice a week or once a week, depending on how best you feel it's going to work for you. And the third one is I try to provide educational content on the product or service, in this case, rice milling or farming, just like these people have did. Detailed analysis on US rice industry, the providing educational content, prospects of rice milling modernization in India, and the rice marketing and rice processing technology analysis in Nigeria. They're not even focusing on one country. That's the power of the internet. You can reach out to millions of people just with your laptop or your phone and a good internet connection. So top of the head, what, another thing I advise most of my clients to do in your content strategy is to showcase customer success stories. Customer success stories helps customers make their decision and it's a very powerful marketing tool. So that being said, this let's get back to looking at other people's content. As you can see, analysis, analysis on rice market in Philippines. All these are just content that are created to, towards rice farming audience or rice milling audience. People that process rice, just like my clients, or people that farm rice. Rice milling equipment delivered to Nigeria. Okay, stuff like that. And it mentioned Nigeria here a lot of times, and I'm sure this is not a Nigerian company, but that's to show you they do their, that's what they call keyword research in SEO. Sometimes you, you can use Google 
this is, I, I'll, I might talk about this maybe on an SEO course, but basically, let's just focus on developing our content strategy. When you, before you even start your content strategy, it's advisable for you to do keyword research. This helps you put your your website on the map so that you won't be repeating content. You try to focus on keywords that matter. Okay, in this in this case, I searched rice uh, meaning websites, and I have some key uh, extensions on my Google Chrome that helps me to understand keywords better. It shows you SEO difficulty, off-page difficulty. This is a, a, a later I will just drop a list of the stations I use on my Chrome. This one also gives me related keywords, rice milling machine, rice milling machine for home. And all these are things you should also probably look into. And also whenever you're writing your SEO on your used plugin for a particular blog post, or a page, try to mix up keywords. These are all essential in content strategy. It helps you put your website out there. Okay, people also search for these are just these are all related to keywords. Then I think on the end I have something. Okay, okay, I think that's all. So um basically that's all for this video. Mind you guys, content strategy is very important. It's not all the clicking on the WordPress uh, CMS. No, this is strictly brain work. You have to brainstorm how you want to put your content out there. If it works with using pen and paper or writing it on a whiteboard, I would definitely suggest that. This video is just to show you how you can do your competitive research to see how other people in your niche are putting themselves out there. So I believe with this few uh, demonstration, it's gonna be an easy stuff for you. But don't forget that if you have any query or questions, you can always reach out to me if you're stuck in this phase. See you guys in the next video.